hi welcome back to my channel in today's video we're gonna go I'm gonna go over the five best neighborhoods in Philadelphia stay tuned is full of neighborhoods and there are five best neighborhoods that you may be interested in now I'm just going to touch the surface and just give a little brief description of each neighborhood and later on and again if you subscribe to my channel and tap the little bell you'll get a notification of when I come out with additional videos taking a deeper dive into these other into these five neighborhoods or any other neighborhoods that are in Philadelphia. So the first best neighborhood in Philadelphia is East Mount Airy. Now East Mount Airy is in the northwestern part uh, section of Philadelphia. It's actually pretty close to it's almost you're about like a neighborhood away from touching into Montgomery County. And where it is, you can easily get in and out of the city to get into Montgomery County, and you can take the major road from uh, the major artery, which is 309, out to Fort Washington and to the Turnpike, into the Pennsylvania Turnpike. Now, East Mount Airy is one of the top hottest affordable neighborhoods in the nation. We have a main street, that's Germantown Avenue. And the homes are extremely affordable. There is a rail, we have the regional rail that rides right through East Mount Airy. So it's easy to get in and out of Center City if you work or if you have friends and you just, or you wanna go and enjoy the local scene, the scenes in Center City. Either way, it's extremely accessible and a lot of people like to move to East Mount Airy because you have that vibe, the family or the, you have the homes are a little bit bigger and you have a yard, you have more opportunities to have a yard and, a, and possibly a backyard. And as well as the homes have that old world feel and, and of Victorian homes and different um, architectural aspects that gives the homes a lot of character and the uh, and the median sales price in East in East Mount Airy is fourth four hundred and thirty thousand that's the that's the median sale price so it, it can be extremely affordable and in East Mount Airy, there are twins in rows. They, they consist of either twins or rows, and, and, and even singles. But of course, the singles do cost a little bit more money. And, and um, East Mount Airy is, has a main street of Germantown Avenue. And that, right, and that stretch is pretty far. You can get easily into Chestnut Hill and enjoy the shops. And the in the restaurants in Chestnut Hill. There's also boutique shops on Germantown Avenue in the East Mount Airy as well. Number two is East Falls. Now East Falls is also in the northwestern portion uh, section of Philadelphia. East Falls is in East Falls. It's pretty. It's really accessible as well to different roadway major roadways and highways such as route one which will take you either up to roosevelt boulevard that will take you to the far northeast or you could take route one to get in the opposite direction and take city line avenue out towards delaware county or, and uh, even parts of it touches a little bit of montgomery county but mostly delaware county you can even take and east falls also has accessibility to i-76 which will in either direction you can go either northbound to um you can either or east i think it's east uh you can go east towards uh king of prussia and or 
to that would take you to 476 aka the blue route or you could take it west towards uh i'm towards center city downtown philadelphia you can get hit the train station the 30th street station you can also hit i-676 that takes you right through center city and that would attach you to i-95 which would definitely be able to take you all the way over to either you can either get to jersey or delaware either way you want to go east falls has two major routes not only so much two major routes but there is it connects kelly drive and as well as there's the east falls bridge which connects to martin luther king drive and those routes are known as alternative routes to the busy i-76 now on the weekends and uh, Martin Luther King Drive, which is on the opposite side of the Schuylkill River and parallels with Kelly Drive, is mostly closed during the warmer months on the weekends because we have a lot of races, a lot of people jog, uh, and people bike, and people just like to sit around and, and exercise on Martin Luther King Drive. Now, Kelly Drive is mostly open all year round, all, all the time. Now, both ways are open all year round except Martin Luther King Drive is sometimes closed on the weekends um, between months of um, March to uh, to no to October where they have where it's um, the warmer months uh, where people r do their races on the Kelly Drive side we also have a uh, row house row that's a, that's further up closer to art museum area and there is the ricotta races that happen every spring now and people like to go to kelly drive to either fish to either go not only fish they do that on east falls bridge however they like to go run bike and enjoy the scenery of kelly drive now kelly drive it can be a very dangerous road as well as lincoln drive which serves they both serve as borders around east falls and they can be because of the the roads are pretty windy they can cause a little bit of accidents if you're not careful now e the, the fall now there's school now east falls is home to several schools such as william penn charter thomas jefferson university the east east falls campus as well as drexel hill university school of medicine and a lot of people like East Falls because of the 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 scene the uh, the local scene, the which includes there is a main street which is known as Ridge Avenue, which is very close to the Schuylkill River, and Ridge Avenue is where there is a lot of shops, there's a lot of restaurants, and eateries, and people like to hang out. They do have festivals that are in the area. Now the median sold price in East Falls is around 261000 Now there is some new construction as well as in East Falls. And it's also considered an affordable, uh, affordable neighborhood in Philadelphia. Number three is Fishtown. I, Fishtown is a, is a fun place. And I like to walk the streets of Fishtown. I had, I, it's, there's always a new boutique and a new restaurant. It's very heavy on the food scene. And Fishtown is in, where it's located, it's closer to, it's by 95. Um, I think this is a portion of North Philly, but not really. It's like a, it's, it's a pretty hop, pop in place uh, in Fishtown and it's known for a lot of millennials, hipsters, and even families. There is great walking traffic in Fishtown uh, and there's lots of garden, beer gardens for one, restaurants, studios, and even galleries. And it is, there is a trolley that run, runs by on East Gerard Avenue which takes you uh, that runs straight through into West Philadelphia. 
that's Gerard Avenue and there is a park called the Penn Treaty Park uh, which is a nice park um, which is right where you could definitely see the Delaware River it's right there by the river uh, and it is it, and it has a field and which is fun because I actually went there and it was pretty fun um, to go see um, be able to see Jersey from the park um, now Fishtown is known to have a lot of new construction a lot of people like to move to Fishtown uh, because of the walking distance, you can easily get onto I-95 and as well to different parts of the city as well through um, not only I-95 and I-676 and to uh, 76 as well. And you can e easily get to New Jersey as well through either the Ben Franklin or Betsy Ross or the Taconi. You can basically you get into Jersey pretty much extremely very easily from any parts of Philadelphia, but especially Fishtown. Now, the homes are mostly row, they're mostly row homes or even twins. I don't think there's really too many singles there. Um, however, the median sales price in the area, which I believe is pretty low, but the median sale price is 172, 172,000. Number four is Northern Liberties. Northern Liberties is pretty close to Fishtown as number three, which was number three. And, and it's their main, and it's also, and it's closer to Center City. It is still on the north side of Broad Street and of, you know, you're still on the north side of Broad Street. And you're within walking distance to parts of Center City, such as, uh, Chinatown, Old City, Society Hill. Uh, you can get to Penn's Landing pretty quickly as well. Northern Liberties, there is on their main street of 2nd Street, is has a lot of restaurants there. It has a huge food scene. There's a lot of boutique shops as well as studios and galleries. Um, there's, ex there's a lot of walking. You could, it's a high tra walking traffic area so a lot of people like to walk in the area there's several dog parks as well as in, uh, in um, Fishtown um, as well um, but Northern Liberties does have a lot of space where people like to walk and people jog uh, there is a lot of new construction in Northern Liberties and you could basically and most of the most of the new construction is really condos and even um, townhomes uh, now there is the Piazza which is basically a um, a campus it's not necessarily a campus but it's it's where you can eat sleep and play and you can basically shop at the local stores, grocery stores, and um, restaurants and boutiques and even craft. Um, there's also beer gardens as well in Northern Liberties and the Piazza is ha is considered a luxury, is a luxury uh, condo complex and people like to go there and you could basically play in the courtyard, you can read, you can walk, <laughs> you can do whatever you want in the Piazza. Um, and within a few blocks you can basically eat sleep and play there is a nice bowling alley that's close to that's also within walking distance and uh, the homes is mostly real homes and condos there's also a lot of older buildings as well all Philadelphia they all have old homes as well <laughs> I mean, totally speaking but there is a lot of old world charm and, and Northern Liberties and and the and the uh, median price of the homes are going for five thirty five hundred thirty five thousand. And lastly, number five, which is Rittenhouse Square. Now Rittenhouse Square is located in uh, basically right there in Center City. It's only a few blocks, and it's it's a huge park where people like to go and walk take pictures and enjoy the festivals and the and 
not only the festivals and farmers market and fairs that are that pop up shop in Rittenhouse Square. Uh, there is a there is a shopping district which is between Walnut Street and Broad and 18 Streets. Uh, and um, Rittenhouse Square is known for their alfresco dining, local boutiques, small galleries, and restaurants. And the median sales price in Rittenhouse Square is 849000 so there we have it are the are the five best neighborhoods in philadelphia so if you like what i had to say i hope you share this with and like and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell uh to um to be notified of any new videos that i come up with now stay tuned because there is additional i'm going to be doing a deeper dive into each one of these neighborhoods as well as any other neighborhoods that are in philadelphia so that is it and until the next video have a good one